Sabbath. All right. Um, shall we begin with a word of silent prayer? Amen. So, Val was just going over sleep, correct? And the scriptures, the scriptures show us there are two kinds of sleep, right? And one is shown in Matthew 25, and, and, and it's shown, it, yeah, it's, it's shown there. And the wise sleep and the foolish sleep, right? And, and the wise sleep how? Searching for? more light. Amen. So there's a type of sleep in which we must do now. We must know, know the things that will take place. We must search, search for more light from, from, from his throne on high so that we might know where we are in history um, at each point. But also there's a sleep where, where you sleep and you give up your, your um, faith as well. And then this is the sleep in which we must shun and fight against. Amen? Okay. So, so Sister has a quote. She tells us that we cannot be asleep to the events that is happening around us. So we must be awake and know what all these things mean. So today this is um, something we're going to look at in the notes. Um, the title is called Great Solemn Events. And um, uh, most of these quotes here we know, but... These things are here to um, have our minds to think about that which is happening now in this earth. So we'll start off in PK 536.3. It says the what? The prophecies. Okay, so we must know what they are and where these things are fulfilled as well. The prophecies which the great I am has, excuse me, has, excuse me, Amen. In, in his word, uniting link after link in the chain of events from, from eternity in the past to eternity in the future, tell us where we are today in the procession of the ages and what we may, and, and what may be expected in the time to come. So we must know the events for this time, amen? All right, next, next paragraph, Review and Herald, September 13th, 1906, paragraph 17. We're going to read the bold. It says, Christ is what? Constantly. Constantly weaving the web of human events. So Christ's hand is in every event that happens upon this earth. It says, he is constantly weaving the web of human events. It says, the Lord, Lord permits suffering and what? The next bold, calamity to come upon men and women to call us, to call us out, out of, of, of our um, selfishness to, to awaken in us the attributes of his character, compassion, tenderness, and love. So when a trial comes, this trial is there to show us show us God, and it's to show us that, that we must as well show forth love and um, show forth the same love as Christ shown in, in each trial. All right, continuing on, we've been Herald, January 11th. Um, can someone read, read this paragraph here, please? We are standing on the threshold.
interest to all learners. The controversies of the past are to be reviewed. Revived. Amen. So we've looked at times past where in this 10 here, this is, this is when we will see much more great and solemn events. And this is to pave the way for the Sunday law. Because we know that many, many will look, look to Christ for, for help in these crises. But however, there are two crises, a true crisis and a false a false one, and many will flock towards the false one in this time. Okay, next paragraph. Can someone take up the next one? Review and Herald, January 11th, um, 1887, paragraph 16. Amen. All right. So, everything that happens on this earth, every law passed and all these things, the Lord has his hand in it. And the Lord wants us to see something from these things as well. Let's go to the next verse, Luke 11, verse 2. We're going to read the bold. It says, Thy will be done as in heaven, so in what? So in earth. So, the things that happen upon this earth have, have um, it... I'll say, um, yes, amen, in heaven. When, when a law is passed upon the earth, it is showing things that is happening also in heaven. But we must have eyes to read these things and see these things um, all right. Okay. Next paragraph, we know this quote. It says, there are periods which are turning points in the history of nations and of the church. In the what of God? In the providence of God, when these different crises arrive, the light for that time is given. If it is received, there is spiritual pro progress. If it is rejected, spiritual, spiritual declension and shipwreck follow. All right, so every time a crisis come about, there is light specifically for that crisis. And likewise, when Biden became president, this is showing us things that were going to take place in heaven as well. And light came for that time. Daniel eleven three was fulfilled in this, in here here in this type. And, and and you have this great horn coming up, and this great horn shall do according to his will. So it's shown us that this horn will go forward and do as as he will, regardless of of God's law. All right. Continue on. Review and Herald, July 5th, 1906, paragraph 6. Can someone read this, please? Message 
language that let me so much of the dwellers upon the earth to be heard and understood. Men were moved to go to sleep. Onward and still onward, the work will advance until the whole world, earth, has passed on in that form. Then shall be unsigned. Amen. So, so then at the sign, this is not when, as she says, everyone will know that Christ is the master of the situation. This is where all men will acknowledge God. Because this is when they'll see that, they'll begin to see that Christ is the master of all these series of events. Because the next few series of events relate directly to every single one of us in here because it will bring religion into the the realm of the whole world now because everybody will have 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 their mind and their eyes upon religion that this this here is this change between between all civil things into more civil and religious things we have to be ready for these things that will come all right Next paragraph, Signs of the Times, January 9th, 1893, paragraph 4. Can someone read the bold, please? Just the bold portion. We are not being called upon to act a part in, the, in public affairs. But in whatever place we are called by the providence of God, we may confidently expect that God will be our helper. We are, we are not to be a toy of choice for circumstances. Okay, pause there. So when this took place, we sh we we were required to know know um know that know what this meant for us, because we are not to let these um these a a men come up so that we are a toy to them, because Satan will will then use us, but use us for his means, obviously. So we must understand these things. And Satan's um, highest fear is that if we know how he works. So we have to understand every single one of these events, all this series of events in their order. All right. Um, finish the, the, the quote, please. Amen. Okay. Um, go ahead. Amen. Yes. Amen. Or backwards. Amen. 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 Oh, and we looked at last Sabbath as well, that at this time there will be many unexplainable trials. When these unexplainable trials come up, we are not to go down into faithlessness. In these times, we are to have more faith. Our faith should be stronger in these times because it says, we are to take a firmer hold upon God. Even though we may not know what X, Y, and Z means at that very time, we are still to take a firmer hold upon God because we know that this is the beginning of the investigative judgment. And this is shown on October 22nd, 1844. At that time, they had not known what happened, but they took a firmer, firmer hold upon God and looked back at all, all that God had had shown them in the past, and this is what led them um, forward to push through the the sea of the 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 sea of doubt. Okay. Next paragraph, Review and Herald, February twentieth, nineteen thirteen, paragraph five. Can someone read this, please? Right or left, the 
So we have many quotes here saying the, almost the same thing over and over because this, this is very needful. Divine patience is wearing out and the Lord, the Lord is going to show that divine patience is wearing out. And we, we, we have to understand that the trials will truly come very soon. It is, it is not far off. It will happen very soon. So we have to know that we are being led by God and, and we must know, know the light for this time for ourselves because we will be tested upon all of the light that we could have received as well. So we have to um, receive all that the Lord has, has sent. All right. Go down to LT6, 1886, paragraph 11, please. And can I read it for the two bold portions here, please? We must individually know for ourselves what is true and be prepared to give a reason of the hope that we have if we think and fear, not in a proud, boasting, self sufficient, self sufficiency, but with the spirit of Christ. We are nearing the time when we shall stand individually alone to answer for our belief. The beauty of the Bible is not due until we bring it into Amen. So this is it's we have to understand these things for ourselves. No man can pass these pass these trials for for you. You have to understand it for yourself. Every single person here, and it says that we must study it. And a, as we search, the hidden jewel hidden jewels are found as well. And this is one one thing I say much. No one sees a, a small gem, finds a small gem and says, ah, oh, it's a small gem, it's nothing. And then, and, 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 yeah, and, and it's nothing. Even if it's a small gem, the person still sees that, man, this is a tiny diamond, I'm keeping it. If it's, a, oh, man, it's a small ruby, I'm keeping it. So it's likewise with God's word. We have to value, we have to put the same value on God's word as God puts, puts upon it. We have to value every ray of light that he has sent, sent as he values it, put a high esteem upon, upon his word. And we, she says we have to study it for ourselves and know what saith the scriptures. Okay, 1888, 403, paragraph 1. It says, we should know for ourselves what, what, what constitutes what? Christianity. What is truth and what is the faith that we have received? What are the Bible rules? The rules given us from the highest authority. So we have to know every single one of these things in which, in, in which she has put, put here. We have to know the Bible rules and the faith and the truth. We have to know what it means to be a follower of Christ. Continuing on, 18307.2. Can someone read this, please? 8307.2. There is a study of history that is not to be condemned. Sacred history was one of the studies in the school of the apostles. In the record of his dealings with the nation, he would trace the footsteps of Jehovah. So today we are to consider the dealings of God with the nations of the earth. We are to see in history the fulfillment of prophecy, to study the workings of providence in the great reformatory movement, and to understand the plottings of liberation and blossoming of the nation to the final Amen. All right, now let's go down to let's go down to LT fifty-seven, nineteen oh four, paragraph five. <clears throat> Can someone read read this paragraph out as well, please? Loudly. Be regarded as 
Amen. So these apparent works of healing will bring who to the test? Seventh-day Adventists. All right. So one thing we know that in this trial, I'll be pushed heavily, is this vaccine. And this, this, um, this vaccine are, is this apparent healing. Because she says that drugs never cure. Therefore, you know that drugs proceed from Satan. So this, this is Satan's miracle working at this time to, to, um, to, heal, to heal people, to make them think that they are being healed and put, and put, and put their trust in, this, in, the, in these works of miracles. But it's only leading them to himself. It, it's, it's leading people from God onto Satan. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kunar. Amen. 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 And and these things she says will. It's not it's not a maybe or if or a but. She says, but these works of apparent healing will bring Santa Adventists to the test. And and we have right now in our world th this crisis that that deals with healing that everybody needs healing, and now something comes up, okay, this, this can heal us and bring us back, back to good health. So, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to add, I don't <coughs> see how it's going to bring us to the test, because not only are we going to have to bring people to natural healing, we're actually going to tell them that doctors are not healing them. Amen, yes. Not no. Amen. 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 Yes. Um. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. And she also states that most people don't want this route of the true healing. Be Amen. Because, because it's telling you to pick up the cross and follow, follow Christ. Because that is what it is. You have to deny yourself, deny appetite, deny feelings, deny your own thoughts, deny everything that you have learned. And it's, this will be especially hard for doctors, nurses, EMTs, EMS. Go ahead. Cross, amen, and follow me, amen. This will be especially hard for those, for those people because they have taken all these things from Satan and then think that all these things will actually help and heal. And the reason why we have to understand these things is because we have to deal with the worldly wise men. We're coming to that realm that we have to deal with the worldly wise men. And she says we must be... We, we must know the light for this time to deal with the worldly wise men. Because if we do, do not, they will overthrow our theories. They will, they will make us think that all that we have learned was for naught and it's nothing. So we have to make sure we understand these things for ourselves. Because we are really coming to, to a time when we will be brought forth before others and we have to do the right service unto Christ. And 
represent him correctly before all. Okay, so um, connected with this, let's go, let's continue on with the quote, LT 57, um, 1904, paragraph 6. She says, let us study the word of God. Let us make it a part of our lives, bring its teachings into the daily experience. Thus only, <laughs> thus only <laughs> can we gain the knowledge that will in, 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 enable us in these days of peril to distinguish the true from the false. It says, study the fifth and sixth ch 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 chapters of John. They... They c c c contain in instruction that is indeed the mystery of g godliness. Search the scriptures, Christ said, for, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they, and they are they which testify of me. So directly linked with these apparent works of healing, she, she brings, we have to study the Word of God. This is, we, this is imperative because we will be, will be brought, brought before men. At this, time we are, at this time we are hidden, but there's a time when the Lord's hand will be removed and Daniel will be shown forth and Joseph will be shown forth and Esther will be shown forth. There's a time coming that we will be brought before, before all men because just as Kanar was saying, we will have to say that Doctors and all their works is wrong, and we will have to fight against the um, the health the health world throughout this whole world. Everybody will be, Amen. Yes, that is a giant in this earth. The health world, yeah, am, yes, Amen. Thank you. Will be arrayed against San Aventus. We um we were saying the we we brought up. A few days back, every man's hand will be against us, and our hand will be against every man. So we'll go against the um, the, the the army, the the health, the everything that does not have the stamp of God upon it. We will fight against it because because Christ fights against it, and they will fight against us because they because um, because that which Christ has said will bring down their their um their yes amen thank you all right can someone read lt6 1886 paragraph 10 the bold portions please since the scriptures for in them you think we have eternal life every position of truth taken by our people will bear the, the criticism of of the greatest minds the highest of the world's great men will be brought in contact with truth and therefore every position will be Every position we take should be critically examined and tested by the scriptures. Now we seem to be unnoticed, but this will not always be. Movements are at work to bring others apart. And if our theories of, of truth can be picked to pieces by historians or the world's greatest men, it will be done. Amen. So this you cannot make it plainer. We will be brought before these people. Right now we are not not seen by them, but the covering will be ripped off and we shall be shown before, before the whole world. And we must understand every point of truth. All right. Next paragraph that has, it says some of the very, very same things. LT65, 1886, paragraph 6. Okay, um, so read the bold portions, please. Amen. So, so we must go against these great men of, of the earth. And if, if, if we don't have Christ in, 
in each heart here, everybody here will fall. She says, it will be too much for us. So it is a certainty. Go ahead, Kunar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Gained an experience. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hmm. Amen. That's nice. So she says, we will be worthy of notice. This is the time period. Amen. Amen. So this is this is where we have to prepare. We've went over this numerous times previous that this is the time period to prepare because we will be worthy of notice in this whole time. From this point onward, our lot if from this point forward our lives will never be the same. We will always be in the forefront, in the for, in, in, in the forefront of, of this war upon this earth. So we have to be established upon every point, she says, because, because the great minds of this earth will tear it down if we do not have a firm hold upon Christ. So this is just telling us over and over again, study the scriptures, study the scriptures, study the scriptures. That is, that is honestly just the main point of all of this. Because everything can happen in the earth, but if you don't study the scriptures, it means nothing to you. These events mean nothing if you don't study the scriptures. Go ahead. Yeah. Research. Amen. In that hour. Amen. Amen. In 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 these trials, Amen. Because this is what happened to Christ on the cross. The Father was the nearest unto Christ at that time. So therefore, that is showing us that in these trials here. The Father will be nearest unto us, but we also have a work to do. We must seek and call out for, for the Father in this time, for help from on high. All right. Also, next, next paragraph, 1T356.3. This is speaking about in the time of the Civil War, and at that time there was a draft happening. And some, some men who, who were... Um, Adventists as well, because, because they had no faith, it brought those who had faith in the forefront as well. So even, even um, those, those who are, are Adventists as well, they will bring the, the true ones to the forefront in, in, in this trial. So can um, someone read this quote, please? 1T356, paragraph 3. In Iowa. In Iowa, they carried things for quite a length and ran into fanaticism. They mistook zeal and fanaticism for conscientiousness. Instead of being guided by reason and sound judgment, they allowed their feelings to take the lead. They were ready to become martyrs for their faith. Did all this feeling lead them to God? In greater humility before him, 
Do they leave them to trust in his power to deliver them from the prime position into which they might be brought? Oh no. Instead of making their position petition to the God of heaven and relying solely upon his power, they petitioned the legislator and were refused. Okay. So these things might very well happen as well with Seventh-day Adventists. Yeah, the, the, amen. These things will happen. Seventh-day Adventists will go forward thinking that they are doing the work of the Lord, but the Lord will have his hand in it because he will use this event to go and bring, bring light before these worldly wise men as well. So finish that quote, please. For them. Amen. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Rising up. Amen. Amen. Yeah, in, in the line. Yes. Amen. So, and we, this is happening now. We all see this. We see these things on Facebook and so forth, that Adventists are speaking up um, against, against these, these, these laws and, the, and these things now. Yeah, that, that is true as well. But those, those who fight, fight it at this time, they will bring those, those who... who know these things in in the forefront and then we will have to um explain explain all these things in the correct way and this will also make a divide in the Sunday Adventist church as well and we we have to be ready for what is to come because all the blame will be placed upon the true on true Sunday Adventists those those who are following following his word point by point all the blame, all of the blame will be put upon them from, from, from all men, from the church and the state. So before this, for this vaccine mandate goes forth or this decree, the Bible tells us we have to gather together. So this is the time we are to gather together, draw ourselves nearer to Christ and by doing that, we will draw ourselves nearer to one another. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Can someone read these verses, please? Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. Before the decree bring forth, become, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger Seek ye the Lord, all ye leaders of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek weakness, and maybe ye shall be hidden from there in the day of the Lord's anger. Amen. So when this decree here goes forth, this is gonna the time this time period here is gonna show us what what the wrath of God will look like. It's giving us a type of it. So now I have some words here from um from, excuse, yes, from on Thursday. So, can someone read the first one, please? Yes, that one. Okay, so look at the words that are being said now. The language is changing. Before, before, before it was, it was all n nice things for, at, at first, but now it's the saying, or at this point, push. And we all know what push means. Push means to war, because the, the king, of, the king of the south pushed at him. Correct, and that word push means to war. So. What is on his mind right now? 
war. His, on his mind is now coming forward to war. It's coming to war now. All right. Next. Next paragraph. I'll just put, um, actually, someone read, read this as well, please. Wait, no, no. Yeah. Amen. So, where is this thing pushed first? It says right there, where? Amen. The federal realm, more so, at first. It always starts there because the war began in where? Heaven. The war began in heaven. And, that, and, and, and then the war was spread down onto where? Earth. Onto earth. So, likewise, it's happening the very same way. The federal realm will now feel these things first, but then it will come, come down onto earth earth onto everybody in the United States. Amen? Amen. Sickness begins in the mind. It begins in the head. Um, Isaiah says the whole head is sick. It always begins at the head and it comes down to the rest. So we know that if he's putting pressure on that realm first, it, it will trickle down to the whole of, of the United States. Thank you. Yes. All right. And it's saying he wants to put Pressure. The language is changing. Listen to the language. So now the next, next one. These are his 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 words. It says, um, "Can someone read this actually, please?" Many of us are frustrated with the nearly eighty million Americans who are still not vaccinated. Biden says, "This is not about freedom from personal choice. It's about protecting yourself and those around you." Amen. So. So now, listen to the language. People are getting frustrated. Now, so um, we see in, we see that, ah, that was, yes, that was it, that the king was what? Wrath. The king was wroth. The king was wroth and went forth and forced and warred against those who would not bow down. It's the, go ahead. Many of us are frustrated with the nearly million Seventh-day Adventists who are still not receiving the mark of the beast. Amen. It's the, ver it's the very same language. It, it will, the Son of Law crisis will go the very same way. At first it's mild, and then it just heats up more and more until Satan goes forward to truly kill Seventh-day Adventists for not receiving the mark of the beast. It's the very same things. The Lord has really given us a taste of hatred. Amen, yes. Now, the next paragraph. Um, okay, yes. Can someone read this too? Mm hmm. Amen. So his patience is wearing thin. It's showing whose is wearing thin as well. Satan's, Satan's but it's also it's showing that God's patience is wearing thin. Let's go on to Romans 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the what? The higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Remember, we, we have read, on earth as it is on earth. In, in heaven as it is on what? On earth. So Biden saying this now is showing us what is taking place in heaven. What will soon take place? Divine patience in this time period is running thin. The Lord is being patient with us, but his patience is running thin. This is why we must search the scriptures and gather the oil before the decree brings forth. So Biden is saying this. This is when he speaks, we have to also think of it in a spiritual sense as what is happening in heaven literally right now. God is literally telling us. He's literally saying to us, amen, to put on the garment. He's literally saying right now that his patience is running thin, that he will let Satan loose for a time. 
This is what is literally happening in heaven, literally as we speak. We have to see it as that. We have to see that the things that we learn from God's word is really, it, it, it is real. It is happening and God is really going to show us a portion of his wrath. We have to be ready for this time. Go ahead. Say that again. Amen. Yes. The the Amen. So and she has a quote even saying that. She she says that even the falsehoods will help us to draw near nearer to Christ. But it will help us if we fight against the falsehoods as um as we said previously. Against the truth. Amen. 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 Okay. So Biden is the head of Biden is the head of this whole world. He's and he, he's a type of the head of the whole world, which is God. So yet again, his patience is running thin. He is he is um the Lord the Lord made him say that, allowed him to say that, so that we, we all know what is taking place with God himself. All right, PK 276.3, come down to a close. Says, God allows men a period of probation. And this, this, this time here, this preparation is the period of probation. Because when probation is closed, we cannot prepare anymore. They're one and the same says, but there is a point beyond which divine patience is exhausted, and the judgments of God are sure to follow. So when Biden says this, this is what God is saying at the same time. Continuing on, next. Next paragraph, 2SM372.3. Um, Can someone read the, the bold, please? Amen. So once his divine patience wears out, you will see wrath. Patience, yes. Okay. So we know when we looked at some studies past this we will already mark this by fire as well. And the Lord's coming is, and he comes in fire. And this fire is his wrath. So when, when this time comes, we have to be ready for this fire because the fire shows what foundation in which we have built upon, Paul tells us. It will show if it's, if it's built, um, if you laid, laid wood, hay, stubble, and all these things upon it, or or you will be gold tried and tried in the fire where you come out even brighter and wiser and cleaner. Go ahead. It's to save some. Yes. That's nice. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. In it. Amen. I like that. Okay. All right. Go to the next one. Next paragraph. It says, the time has come when what? Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. We are in the shaking time. Be assured that only those who live the prayer of Christ for unity among, among his disciples, working it out in practical life, will stand the test. So how do we stand th this, this final test here? This, this shaking time? 
He means by uniting. And it's fulfilling the, the law. It's supreme love for God and loving man as, as yourself. Next paragraph, the bold portion only. Can someone read this, please? Amen. So, so to pre prevent ourselves from falling this time, we are to gather together, be as one, and try to fulfill the prayer of, of Christ. Oh, yes, amen. Delusion, amen. So, we are, we all know that we are not to follow the same course of Judas. Everybody knows this in, in um, the world. <clears throat> All right. Next, next paragraph. Someone read this. MS-115. It was at the last Passover that the disciples were to hold, the disciples were to hold with their Lord that these words were spoken. Very soon Christ was to offer himself as a sacrifice to the world. At this time, in the last hours that the disciples would have with their master, Satan made a determined effort to arouse contention among them. Sorrow filled Christ's heart, and he saw them yielding to the spirit of Christ and his disputing as to who should be the greatest. Had they been in a right frame of mind, they would have received great blessings, but they came to the supper with hearts filled with selfishness and with temper heated by contention. Amen. So we have to be in the right frame of mind, because if we're not in the right frame of mind, saints will take, take our minds and use it, and, and use it for his own ends. Amen. Amen. So you can have the right. Amen. 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 And this time he will put forth false, false things to, so, that, so that when you come here, your mind is, is not right. And then you receive the wrong things in this time and, and, and you'll fail and fall. Amen. All right. Um, so now these last... Last few quotes, yeah, yeah, these last few quotes are just here showing us how we, we should live. Because I know Satan at this time is trying, is try, trying to make us to not be as one. Because he knows that if he doesn't, um, if he makes us not as one, he, he won't have to take, take um, the sins, the sins in which, in which we, we, in which we all, all have, um, d d d yes. All right. Review and Herald, November 19th, 1908, Article A, Paragraph 18. Can someone read this, please? <clears throat> Oh, yes, amen. So, in this time period, these are the things in which we should we have to keep in mind. When these little trials and things come up, pray, 
This is the this is the 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 main thing. If we pray in this time, when when the fire comes, we shall do the very same thing, and it's to pray because a law went forth to fight against prayer, but but um, Daniel still went forth and prayed because he has because he, he made it a habit to pray to to pray any time a trial arose. So it's the very same with us that we have to do these things anytime a trial or some doubt or something comes up seek the Lord in prayer um, we can uh, all right can someone read the two the two bolts of the last last quote and then we'll finish there Amen. So we have to, with everything that we just read, we have to keep these things in mind, that we must search God's word. This is the only way in which we all can be one as well, is by being one with Christ. All this is about is having, having, having the mind of Christ. This is what, what we all strive for. This, this, um, amen, with Christ. But we also have to understand the events because once we search God's word, we will be shown the events as well because this is what happened in the past. They searched God's word and they saw all these events and it brought them into oneness with Christ and oneness with one another as well. So we have to realize that we are literally living in these last days and that all these things are real and the things that is happening in this earth also tell us of, of things that is happening in heaven. But we have to rightly um, read, read all these things so that we might know the voice of Christ, basically. Amen? Amen. All right. So with that being said, shall we close with a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, O Lord, we give thanks for this day for life and strength. And, and we ask for help from your throne on high. Help us to, to seek you more, to spend, spend um. Spend more time in your word so that, so that we m might be one with, with you, O oh Lord. Please help us to, to, um, to know, know, know your voice from on high and to um, heed, heed that, that voice as well, O oh Lord. And we ask all these things in in Christ's name we pray, amen.